God day, gods and goddesses. I am Elegant Soul Food, the consecrated nature baby, here for your money Monday. Money Monday, 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 Monday reading. Um, this is a do-over. I had to delete the last video because my energy is off. Um, I'm an empath. I got a lot going on with people that I love. But I wanted to put this out here. So here we go. The... Um, cards that I use, the three decks that I use, I will only be using these three decks for this first season of me uh, doing reads. These are not the cards that I use for my personal uh, readings. These are not the cards that I use for the readings for my loved ones. Um, these are three decks that I was blessed, that I blessed and was led to move forward with. So, as I was saying at the top of this video, that my energy is off, um, my heart is in other places, my mind is in other places. There are people that I'm concerned about and things uh, that are happening with people that I love and that I am a, you know, a tribe of, my clan. And so I was saying that whatever I was thinking about doing today or whatever I was hoping that the energy I would get for today, I'm just here receiving the energy just like everybody else. So with that, the goddess deck that I use the card that was pulled in the shuffle was for manifest. This is the goddess of manifestation. And I wish it had an enunciation. The uh, number card is a nine. And a nine is a cycle of uh, symbolic of uh, completion and new beginnings. Um, her name is... Mojaju, Mojaju, Mojaji, and um, she's a South African goddess um, of conjure, and it's a water element, like myself, Cancer, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, and if you can see here, it's like she's dancing on water. It's like she's walking on the ocean dancing, and the daughters of this goddess dance to the frequency of rain um, the guidance here is showers of blessings are yours and um, you are a rainmaker you are a master manifester you are a shapeshifter you are an alchemist and sorcerer open your hands and hearts open your hand and heart uh, the embodiment here is yes make it rain you are manifesting big this has been a long time coming. You are co-creating with spirit. Match the energetic frequency, the ashe of your desire. You are magnetic and like attracts like. I said this to somebody earlier. I was like that bitter energy, like attracts like. What you say, what you put out there. If you watched any of my other videos, if you've been you know, on this journey with me since I started, you know I'm a word power advocate. And what you say, you manifest. So for me to start the top of my video saying, you know, my spirit is, my mind is, my heart is, it's in all these places, it's, it's, it's riding out with my clan. Um, here it says, like attracts like in the next sentence, raise your vibration and align with the sacred. That's the message I needed to hear and I hope this is helping you. Um, close your eyes and see your blessings. Feel them in your bones. Act, believe, act, allow, receive. Divine blessings flow to me easily. That's your declaration. Divine blessings flow to me so easily. I start saying last year, life is easy. Life is easy if you let it be. So for me applying this, I am closing my eyes and I'm seeing the blessings for all the people that I have in my heart and in my mind that I'm concerned about in the situations that we know are going to work out. The other card that I'm so used to getting ready to do the shuffle, but I, I did that before I deleted the, uh, the last video because I wasn't ready. Um, so what do we need to do on our journey? That's the energy on our journey is to manifest. So what do we need to do on our journey? And what we need to do is the energy of the number 11. And it is to be the hero be the hero of your co 
cosmic journey. This cosmic journey deck, again, another deck that I was I was drawn to. Um, when it says cosmic journey, I think universe. And when I think universe, I think um, God, higher power, whatever that is to you. It is the energies and the frequencies, the love and the support and the guidance that we have in 5D. For those of you that can see in 5D, high five. <laughs> so the hero of your cosmic journey. So when you hear cosmic, apply it to whatever works best for you and wherever you are on your cosmic journey um, in these earth suits. The attributes are the path of divine destiny, grand adventure and quest. You are the one you have been waiting for. You are the mythic story coming to life. The great adventure is exactly as you intended to fulfill your destiny of greatness. The legend of the hero is deep within our collective consciousness because that's our path to fulfill our greatest purpose here. The hero is willing to go forth even when they are uncertain of what's next. They are driven by greater purpose and many times reluctantly drawn into adventure. But once on the path, moving forward, help comes through new allies, guides, and even magical gifts awaiting discovery. Then there is a point of no return. A symbolic death to what was in order to continue evolving into what's next. Knowing their world will never be the same again. Then together with their friends, they must defeat the guardian at the threshold, the final test of the saga. And finally, they return home with even greater powers bestowed upon them to share for the benefit of all. To share for the benefit of all. Growing and being into your own best person is going to be best for all of the people that are going to be in your path, on your path. So ask yourself, you know, what's my quest on this journey? Um, where am I at the, you know, I'm on my way to be the next hero in my story? Um, what can I do to activate more allies and more guides and more magical help in my life. What's my cosmic hero's name? I had asked that question once upon a time during an uh, initiation. I'm like, am I going to change my name? Do I have to change my name? That's something that that comes from the universe. That's something that comes from your God-given purpose. That's something that um, you have to go within to find the answers to something like that so you can know. So you can know. And this is how I ended up with Elegant Soul before. Um, the money deck that I always use, it's more than 52 cards. It's 52 cards plus the would-be jokers and then the index cards, if you know what a regular um, deck of cards look like. But I only use the 52 cards. And I always take the card out. So if you've been with me every week, you've noticed that each one of the cards for the money deck there's never going to be the same card. So far, we haven't had the same card with the uh, energy card and a journey card, which is interesting. I, I do a shuffle. And again, these are the only decks that I use for this season. But the point I was making about the money decks, I take these, whatever card is drawn for that week, because we're doing two, two weeks, that's a season. Um, it goes into a jar of um, money that I find when I go hiking. When I go out in nature, I always find money. And so I started just recently putting that money in a jar. And as I was led to do readings and only using these three decks, um, I never will use the same card twice when it comes to these financial literacy cards, specifically because they're financial literacy and it's for something new. Can you all see my uh, crystal crown? I got my head wrapped. And uh, respect to my honors, my uh, my ancestors and my spirit guides. Um, I'm in reception mode, so I can help myself and somebody else. Um, but the shuffle for this week, can you see that? ETFs. Exchange trade funds. ETFs are the layer cake of investments. 
like mutual funds, they can contain various stocks, bonds, and other assets that each act as a layer of the cake. Then the cake can be cut into pieces and traded freely, like stocks. Many EFTs are built into uh, mirror the performance of a market index like the S&P 500. With built-in diversification and very low fees, ETF popularity has skyrocketed since the early 2000s. So if you were wondering what ETFs are, if you already knew what they were, here's a definition. If you didn't know, there's a definition. And if you are interested in EFTs because you keep hearing about it and you were stumbling across this video and I brought it up and it just sparked another thought about it, um, there you go. Opportunity to go do some more research on EFTs and see if that's something that you want to get involved in. If you're already involved in, drop some notes below. Let us know how much you know and how much you're willing to share. Again, uh, we're going to have a love light conversation. We're going to have a love light contest coming up, and I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. We're putting this together. And um, secondly, like I said last time, I'm going to have some people come on that are financial advisors and they are. Um, CPAs and they've been doing this stuff in a long time. I'm trying to get a hold of this one person that I worked with years ago. Dude, within four years, my money flipped four times. Now I know the market is a lot different than what it is. And um, I have my investments in safe as well as risque stocks, but mostly safe. But I'll let them talk to you about that kind of stuff because they have letters behind their name specifically for finance. Maybe you'll believe him instead of me. I'm just sharing what I know. I'm not telling anybody what to do, but thank you for your time. I look forward to seeing you next Monday, Money Day, Money Monday, Money Monday. And God be with you. I love you and I'll see you next time.